we've been discussing all morning, the government's Rwanda bill has been given the go-ahead in the Lords overnight, with the PM confident that flights will take off by July. Well, the next stage of the process will be royal ascension to get the monarch's approval. Well, our royal editor, Sarah Hewson, is here to tell us more. Sarah, good morning. Morning. Tell us, what happens now? This is a formality. <laughs> this is the final stage of approval for uh, the Prime Minister's Rwanda bill. Uh, and it is a rubber stamping exercise mm. by the monarch, but it can't become law until it's been granted royal assent. Uh, it's usually done in writing through letters patent being issued by the monarch that would then be announced in Parliament. Um, he can refuse to give royal assent, technically. Uh, it ever, is within his powers. It hasn't happened since 1708. Yes. So it would be quite a big story uh, were he to do so. Um, and so it's likely that that will, be happen that will happen this week. It will then be announced by Buckingham Palace and by uh, Parliament as well. And, and really, it is just the final technicality. My, my favourite royal editor in all my time in this job, and I'm going to test you now, and I only know this because of the old man, what colour blotting paper does the monarch use? Oh, gosh, I have absolutely no idea. And the only person in this country that uses it. Is this a good pub why? quiz question? No, it's true. Yeah. Blue. Black. Black? Why? So nobody can see what they've written or signed. Oh. Ooh. Fact. Interesting. I Very thought you'd... interesting. No, that's actually true. Yeah. Something that spies that could use good. as well. I'm impressed yeah. with that. Um, so we could talk. We, we can talk about Prince Louis's birthday yes. very quickly because I want to talk about a royal orgy after that. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness. Let's start with Prince Louis's birthday, shall yes. we? Yes. Um, lovely Prince Louis, six uh, oh, today. I, I mean, everyone's favourite royal, is yes. really, cheeky. isn't he? The cheeky chappy, um, and I think he's a real asset to the royal family because he he makes them relatable. Yes, because we he does. see him there yawning or messing around yeah. at very long royal events and you know he's just like, like every six-year-old right? child exactly. Yeah. exactly and we yeah. see them as parents yeah. dealing with him uh, so he turns at six today we haven't had the traditional birthday photo as yet now usually we would have had a photograph released under embargo last night uh and uh either taken by kate or would have been taken by a professional photographer. Mm. Obviously, things have been a bit difficult around family photos of late. Is that why, so that do you might think? be the reason. It might be a reason. We might still get one posted on their social media account later on today. Who knows? Um, we were told a month ago that it was still potentially the plan, but it was early days and, and they wouldn't confirm. But uh, nothing as yet. Actually, interesting is it's such a big Ferrari about a photograph. Maybe they're just thinking after what happened before, I just want some privacy. Maybe she's, yeah. I don't know, maybe she's going through some bad treatment. But it's that the thing, they, they can't win either way, can they? Because, no. you know, if they don't win, it's difficult it, for, people are talking for them about to it. issue a photograph taken by Kate without yes. everyone scrutinising the every photo. pixel of it, for But also, example. I think people just need to accept that their mum's really poorly. Yeah, like, exactly. I mean, she's recovering or she's, you know, she's going through treatment. Might be the last thing on her mind, right? Yeah, probably. Probably is the last thing on uh, her mind is doing it. Uh, now, George. now, Rebel... I think he should release a selfie. Not George, uh, yeah. Louis. Yeah. I think that'd be wonderful. Rebel Absolutely. Wilson. Absolutely. Well, I mean, I'm selfie. sure that, like any parent, they go through their phone and there are umpteen yeah, selfies just taken by small Terrible, child. Yeah, yeah, terrible selfie camera photos. We're talking about, our, you're going to have all of this. Rebel Wilson's written a book, and in it, uh, when it, she's accused Sasha Baron Cohen of things. That's all been going everywhere. It seems to have been redacted in different countries. Uh, there's a part that says that a, a, uh, somebody ranked 15th to 20th in line to the phone. Throw at the phone. In line to the phone. <laughs> in line to the phone. Hello. Got a mobile. Uh, invited her to basically an orgy. Yes. That's what it says in the book. This is a claim in Rebel Rising, her, her book, which has many sort of scandalous and salacious uh, claims in it. And uh, one uh, to have sparked interest uh, is that a minor royal, uh, she says back in 2014, yes. invited her to what she describes as a a drug fueled orgy at the home of a... Sorry, it doesn't feel right and coming out of your <laughs> mouth, Sarah. Can I just tell you? I, feel very... I, I did the caveat it, what she can described you, can, you just, can you just say that again? It was the highlight of the last two. Could you just say that again? A drug fueled orgy at the and, home of a US tech billionaire. And then, you know, there were many, many MPs there as well, phoning their aides, going, I'm in an unfortunate position, come and get me. Right, OK. And? She doesn't name uh, the member of the royal family. She says 15th to 20th in line to the throne back in 2014. I mean, who knows? And whether or not she even knew who they were. Of Apparently, course. she was invited through a friend. We've and... got to say goodbye. Oh, there you I'm go. I'm really On that sorry. Note.